Okay, so this is a very quick video on how to extract multiple teeth from a model while retaining the emergence profile of the teeth. What I've done right now, if I segmented all of the teeth from the CT scan using a fantastic new automatic jaw segmentation functionality to segment the CT teeth and the jaw completely automatic, you could do that simply from the segmentation panel by clicking Start Automatic Segmentation. Once that's done, we could see that we have now everything segmented. We have our model imported. So I'm gonna go over to the model manipulation panel, make sure the correct model is selected, and then click close model. So now I have our new model in the CT services list. So I'll just call this closed model. And now I could really do this tooth by tooth, but if I have multiple teeth, I wanna segment, but if I have multiple teeth, I wanna subtract from the model at the same time, there's a little bit of a quicker way of doing this. So for example, if I want to extract our lower anterior teeth, what I could do is simply go to File, Export Data, and don't worry, we're not actually exporting the data, and if we were at this point, it would still be free of charge. But what we're going to do now is we're going to confirm that we have the correct surfaces selected that we see right here, and then I'm going to click Create Surface. Now this essentially mimics an export and then puts it right back into the software, that's why it's on the export screen, but what we could do now is we could see, let's toggle off all of our surfaces and then just show our new one combined. We could see we now have the four teeth here as one surface in Blue Sky Plan. Now, if we take a look at our alignment, our alignment looks really spot on, both in terms of the model to the CT alignment and in terms of the CT tooth segmentation. We could see the outline of both the segmentation and the models right here and how tightly and closely they are aligned to each other. However, if we turn off our CT scan and we look at and we look at our models, we could however we turn if However, if we turn off the CT scan and we look at just the segmented teeth and the models, if we would subtract the segmented teeth from the models, we would still be left with a little bit of an outside shell of those lower into your teeth. So what I suggest doing is like this. First of all, we're gonna switch over to the crown and bridge functionality because that is where our Boolean functionality is in the software. And we're gonna open our and we're gonna open our teeth at a panel, open Boolean operations. And here what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a difference between our blue closed model and our combined surfaces. But in order to make up for this very slight remaining shell that might be here on the model after we subtract the teeth, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a very slight offset and we could Decide what you want the offset to be, if it's uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, or whatever. Let's go with 0.4 and see if it accomplishes what we want. Now, if I go ahead and click on Apply, it runs the Boolean. We have another new surface. Let's go down to here to our new surface. And here we could see that we've extracted the teeth. We have the emergence profile. We still have these little pieces floating here as a remnant. Maybe if we would have changed the offset to 0.5 or 0.6, we would have gotten rid of these. But these aren't an issue either because what we could do essentially is revert once back again to Model Master, go to our Surfaces panel, select the relevant surface, and then use the Cut tool and just draw a lasso around what you want to remove. And we'll go ahead and cut out those remaining pieces. And we're left with our model with the extracted teeth.